guys what's up this is rocket erases and welcome to my new video all right so we are continuing off with our convo js and i'll be talking about creating a rectangle and an ellipse in this video tutorial so i've seen that uh, the past 12 videos covered only a circle so i thought why not change the shape uh, if not now then when so all right uh, so this video will talk about creating a rectangle first and then we'll go cover the and let's start later so before that uh, let's have a very quick reca recap we need a script we need a division element where we throw in our container and then in the javascript we have a stage and stages contain layers and layers can contain how many ever shapes that we want them and lastly we have these two important statements layer.add rect and stage.add layer So the rect over here is used for creating the rectangle. We can name it as whatever we want to. So over here, I'll have to change the name over here as well. And rect is the uh, it, it's used for creating the rectangle over here. And this you can't change it. So rect is the uh, is is what you replace the circle with. So if you remember, we had a circle over here with a capital C in the previous tutorials. So over here we have rect. right now all right so let's start off uh, with uh, creating the rectangle so new convo.stage and then you know what to give in uh, one important thing is that you give the container the container tells uh, where your where your values were where where your division element is going uh, i'm sorry where your shape is going so the shape goes into the division element that you provide which is uh, which has the id of matrix so i gave the name as matrix so after after which you give the width and the height of the container so let's give it a width of 800 800 pixels and let's give it a height of about 500 pixels all right so when i run it nothing happens so uh, so far all right we need to give a comma here it's not a semicolon All right, guys, and then the next step will be as usual, uh, creating a layer over here. So as you can see, we have a layer right here, and then this layer can be used uh, to create the shapes, and we place those shapes inside the layer. So that is what is done by the last, uh, last but one, and the last commands. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead. As we know that layer does not take any other arg arguments or parameters right away. So we have a rectangle. Uh, to create over here so you start off giving the first you uh, create a variable called rectangle and then equal it to the function new comma dot rect which creates an object of rectangle for us and then we place the curly brackets in which we pass the values whichever we would want to create so the first thing you should make sure to always fill in would be the center of the circle which will be x denoted by x so i'll put it as 90 and then followed by Y, which will also be 90. Then, then I'll give a width of uh, let's say 100, and I'll give a height of let's say about 50. So after which I'll need to give a fill as well, so that we can, we can view our rectangle. So let's give it a fill of uh, about 333. Alright, let's see what happens right now. Okay, so as you can see, we have a very small rectangle over here, and it is grayish in color. And the gray color is because of the fill hashtag three three three. You can uh, head over to htmlcolorcodes.com as usual, and I have placed the links which are with uh, will be helpful for you in the description below. So you can go to those uh, websites and pick up the color, or you can read about other stuff. And also the uh, script over here. has also been uh, provided in the description below so that you don't have to search on google or anywhere else or uh, you can find it right away and use it in your projects anyways let's go forward so we can create a fill element over here as i have shown you we can also give a stroke of our choice so let's give a stroke uh, let's give it a color of uh, 888 and see what happens and so as you can see we have a small uh, radius over here we can change the width of it as well as we have changed with the uh, circle so what you do is you give a stroke width and give it about 10 pixels so let's see what happens all right so as you can see our uh, rectangle's border has increased uh, quite uh, quite a lot 
so i am thinking of uh, increasing the size of this rectangle so let me give the width as uh, part 600 and then i'll uh, increase the height to about 300 All right, so as you can see, it is covering up a lot of space. So that is what happens when you give it this big a value. And let's see what happens with the uh, with an event week, the x and y of these two elements. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is like uh, this is the first corner. This is not the center of the rectangle, as I was saying, uh, as I was saying before. So if I create, if I give a 500, that's what happens. Okay, so the rectangle has gotten uh, way below. and it has gotten out of our container so i'll i'll increase the size of the height of the container and we can and after which we can visualize our rectangle over here so anyways i'll i'll get back the uh, y value back to its original uh, version and then i'll give the width as 500 okay so as you can see we have a good width over here and i'll decrease the value of x x value over here and i'll give it 10 all right so as you can see it's not the center of the uh, rectangle as we had in the circle in the circle we had given x and y as the centers of the circle all right so guys this is this is how you create a rectangle full fast and you can create it very easy you can also give it shadow offsets as we have given in the last few tutorials so all you have to do is give a shadow offset x as 10 let's see what happens Okay, so you can see a shadow creeping out, creeping out over there, and then we have shadow offset Y as well, and I'll give twenty for this. Okay, so remember to give a shadow blur in case you want to make it look natural. So you can give it about one. So let's see what happens. Oops. Right, so it's not a, a pretty good value. So let's give thirty. All right, so as you can see, we have a good shadow blur right now, and our rectangle looks pretty good right now. So this is how you can you can fastly create a rectangle, give it a shadow blur, give it a shadow offset, and also give it a shadow, uh, uh, and also give it a stroke and stroke width as well. All right, guys. So similarly, we can create an ellipse as well, and then the way to create an ellipse would be uh, same. So I mean, it, it it follows the same template as we have created for circle and. rectangle no big brainer so over here what you need to do is that you retain the x and y values and width and height as well uh but width and height go in the radius uh property so what happens is that you have a radius and then you need to create another flower bracket braces over here and then you copy paste that over here and then we change the rect to ellipse let's see what happens all right so uh, i'm sorry you have to give x and y over here instead of height and width so if you see over here you'll get the values uh, pretty easily so you have to give a comma after this all right so as you can see you have a beautiful ellipse which is really uh, it, 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 It's getting cut. That is because of our x and y values. So in the case of x and y, uh, in ellipse case, it will be the center of the ellipse. So as you can see, it is getting uh, bigger and bigger, and it is moving uh, towards our uh, right. So let let me give the x and y values as a hundred and hundred, which will make it a circle. So we don't want that. So we I'll put it as two hundred comma hundred, and I'll have to give the x value as Uh, 200 so that it comes out pretty decently outside. But uh, since its uh, stroke is getting cut, you can give it about 10 so that uh, 10 additional pixels are created. And also you can give a y of 10 so that it will completely come out and you can visualize the ellipse over here. So remember this, guys. You have an x and y, and also you have an x and y again in the radius because an ellipse has two radii. It is uh, one is major axis and the other one is the minor axis. So you can give the fill. You can change the colors as you wish. So let me give four A E. So let's see what happens. Okay. So we can also give E zero E. 
all right so as you can see we have changed the colors as well so this is how you can quickly uh, create another ellipse as well and you can play around with the values and create various events and whatever we have created before in the previous videos you can do that with the ellipse and the rectangle as well all right guys so go ahead and create uh, various amazing shapes and i'll see you in the next tutorial and share my videos subscribe to my channel and then tell your friends about this give a like if you like the videos and support my work and thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye